Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's yours truly with another video today. And of course, I would have dropped this story earlier on today. But guess what, folks? I've got a nine to five job. Well, nine to five ish, actually. So had I not been doing that, I would have been at home in my Jay's cave making you these groovy videos. But better late than never, as the saying goes. So beginning with Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power from Amazon Prime. This is a really fishy story, actually. And it's one that I haven't kept track of because every time I kept looking at the dislike button on the Rings of Power trailer, it was kind Kind of like a regular you know it was just whatever i didn't really uh, pay much attention until someone whose video i'm going to highlight in a moment showed there's been a bit of a discrepancy with the dislike button so what we know about the dislike function it cannot be removed google i'm gonna make sure it stays put which i think is commendable google don't get many things right but the dislike function we can see through a chrome extension you gotta thank google for that so at the moment you can see that there's currently 110,000 likes compared to 1.2 million downvotes now you might think well What's the big deal about that, Jace? It's just 1.2 million downvotes. Well, earlier on, this figure was substantially higher. And if I go to my buddy here, Ryan Kinnell, listen to what he says in his video about this, because I thought this was pretty hilarious. Well, something changed. And like I said, the number is stunning. 1.8 million downvotes. How funny is that? And in fact, this video was recorded. What time did Ryan upload his video? So that was done right. Oh, I can't actually tell at the moment. But anyway, he uploaded that a day before the 6th of April. And if you look at it now, yeah, 1.8 million when he recorded it. And now it's back to 1.2 million downvotes. Now, the thing about this series Nobody cares about it. Amazon have made the fatal mistake of pissing off the Lord of the Rings fans. Lord of the Rings, greatest film franchise in history. I haven't read the books, but I'm going to do it this year. I know they're incredibly detailed, but I don't care. I've been watching a lot of J.R.R. Tolkien documentaries recently, and all the special features on those Blu-ray DVDs, mwah, superb, absolutely just makes it more value for money. You get your bang for your buck. But the one mistake that the uh, people at Amazon have done is that they're taking a myth mythological story and they're trying to retell it with today's sensibilities. Today's modern world, you can't do that. You set the story in the time it was intended for and the era it was intended for, which had been the time that Tolkien was alive and the world he established back then. So when they say, well, we're going to ring in uh, diversity and inclusion, blah, blah, blah. Don't forget, Lord of the Rings already has diversity and inclusion and disabilities if you watch the films really, really closely. And you know what? I did say about a couple of weeks ago, we might get a brand new trailer. I had rumblings that there, or I heard rumblings rather, that there might be a new trailer on the horizon. And so far, nothing. Now, I think when we do eventually see a full-blown trailer, which has to be about two minutes long, I reckon it's going to be carefully edited to give a certain impression, false impressions. And you know what? If you think this is bad, 1.8 million downvotes. That's what I'm going to, the true figure, Amazon and Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos, I love you, dude. But honestly, you're not fit to produce the next Game of Thrones. Why should Game of Thrones be the de facto thing that you want to set your goals for? Why can't it be the next Lord of the Rings? That might be a better way to go. But obviously, if this was going to be the next Lord of the Rings with brand new characters, it still wouldn't work. You know why? Because Hollywood cannot create brand new characters. Now, folks, if you enjoyed this video today, do me a massive favor. Leave a like below. Hit the subscribe button. Hit me the next time you see me walking down the street i'm just kidding don't do that actually because i'm so fragile and so sensitive <laughs> right now and if i were you i would look out for me on my next video